Good morning. Hi, happy baby. Did you go out with dad? Yeah. All right, so Tom went out with P and I slept a little longer and look what they came back with. Oh yes, some Starbucks. I definitely need it. I have a horrible headache right now. And yeah, it's Sunday. I'm gonna feed Penelope and then I'm not sure what I'm doing after. All right, I ate, Penelope ate, and now she's playing with Tone and I gotta fix this room because I don't know if you guys could tell, the bed is not made. I have a bunch of clothes here. It's a mess. I've just been laying everything everywhere and now I have to pick it up. So I still have a headache. I feel like my eyes are swollen, and crazy. And I just wanna lay down and go to sleep, but I need to get stuff done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and organize this room a little bit and then, I don't know, figure out what else to do. It is like gloomy out. It does not look nice out, which does not help me get moving. <laughs> Someone smells like poop. Yes, you. You smell like poop. So I'm gonna go change her because Tone already changed the first diaper today. So it's my turn. And I'm gonna change her outfit. I don't think we're gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna put her into something comfy. And then I'm gonna keep cleaning that room and she'll probably go down for a nap soon. Hello! All right, we're done with you and your room. Now mommy's gonna have to go fix the other room, okay? I had so much clothes on that chair, like it would be so much faster if every time I took off my clothes, I would just hang it or put it away right away instead of just setting it on the chair and then just have it piled up until I have to put it away. Does anybody else do this? Because I really need to work on that. I hate having things laying around and I love a clean home, but for some reason putting clothes away just is not for me. <laughs> All right, guys, so Penelope fell asleep. She was super tired. She just fell asleep on tone. And we put her in her crib. Her monitor is back there. She's just taking a nap. So what I'm gonna do now is I really wanna take a nap because I'm so tired and I still have a headache. But I'm gonna do a voiceover really quick. I have my computer here, my headphones. So I'm just gonna lay down and do this voiceover and then I might take a nap. I might take a nap and then like get up and get ready. I mean for nothing but like change and stuff because I'm in my pajamas. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's see how long it takes me to do this and then if I even have time to take a nap before she wakes up. I was thinking since I'm not doing anything today maybe I'll start answering questions from my Q&A because I feel like I'm never gonna sit down to do it because I just get so shy in front of the camera like just talking about myself. So maybe I'll just start answering questions since I'm not doing much and I feel like you guys will be bored of this video because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> All right guys, so my little pumpkin woke up. She had a like an hour and a half nap and I should have slept because my head is still pounding, but I didn't. So I figure I'll answer a few questions now that I'm sitting here, if she lets me. So um, number one question I get all the time is where I'm from. I am Colombian. I was born in Colombia. Then I lived in Miami. That's where I 
went to school and everything and that's where my parents live now and then when I graduated high school I moved to Pennsylvania and there I lived for about nine years until we moved here to Louisiana we moved here because we got relocated uh well we got relocated because Tone's job so yeah that's where I'm from and that's where I live and that's it for that another huge question I get is um did I go to college yes I did I went to college I got my associate's degree from a community college in Pennsylvania and I got an associate's uh, degree in business and then I went to a four-year college and I got my bachelor's in marketing right and then another question I wanted to answer right now is how did me and Tone meet we met because I was in college, we were 22, and I was working at Outback Steakhouse. I was a server there, and his family used to, him and his family used to come in like every weekend. And I always thought he was super cute, but he is very shy. He never like talked to me. And then one day he sent me a friend request on Facebook. I have no idea how he even found me, but he sent me a friend request on Facebook. I accepted it, and then he wouldn't talk to me. So one day I sent him a message and I was like, do I know you? And I knew who he was. I just wanted to see what he would say. And his answer was, you don't know me yet, <laughs> which was so cheesy. But here we are eight years later. And yeah, and we are not married. I get that question a lot. And a lot of me, I guess, assume that I'm married. Um, we're not married. We're just been together for that long. And do we plan to get married? Yes eventually i think we will i don't know when um we definitely don't want any um type of big wedding or anything like that so yeah we're okay with where we are and yeah i think that's enough for now i think that was a couple of the main questions i get so i'm gonna play with penelope a little bit then i think i'm gonna shower and maybe take a nap or something i really can't be on my computer anymore right now because my head really hurts guys <sighs> all right see you guys later These chicken cilantro mini wontons are so good. I love them. If you saw my little Trader Joe's haul, I share them there. That's where I get them. They're super easy to make and they're really, really good. Then I just made like a little dipping sauce, kind of like a dumpling sauce. It's just soy sauce, some uh, red wine vinegar because I didn't have white wine vinegar and some brown sugar. And that's it. And it's so good. You just dip them in there and eat them and they're delicious. We really didn't eat much this Sunday. I had oatmeal for breakfast, then me and Tone shared these and then I had cereal later on at night. I don't even know what Tone had. We were really slacking with the food. <laughs> Cleaning the kitchen and the dishes right after you're done eating is key to a clean home. I think it's a good habit to have a clean home because if you wait, you just get lazy and then it just sits there for the longest time. <laughs> this is the only thing that got done Sunday. A load of wash. <laughs> I folded it at least. <laughs> Of course, I have some wash in there that I never folded yesterday, so I'm gonna refresh that. That's what I do, and hopefully I'll remember to get it out. And now I'm gonna go shower. Alright, so it's like 4.20 and I'm just gonna shower to see if that helps my head. And mainly because I really want to wash my hair, it's really dirty. So I'm just going to go ahead and shower. Penelope is playing with Tone. He's watching football. And they're just hanging out. So I'm going to go ahead and shower. And then I want to show you guys some stuff. Maybe like some clothes that I keep getting 
questions about. So I want to answer that too and then answer a few more questions for my Q&A. All right guys, so I just showered. My headache went down a little bit. I still have it, but it's much better. I washed my hair. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and dry it a little bit. I use a old t-shirt to dry my hair because they say it's less breakage. I don't know, but that's just what I do. But I figure I'll come on here and talk to you guys really quick while I did this. So another question I get asked a lot is, was it hard uh, to transition from like not being a mom to like motherhood and full-time stay-at-home mom? And the answer is yes. Um, I love Penelope and I love being able to be home with her. Like. I think it's amazing that I get the chance to be home with her, but it was definitely hard because I'm just gonna put some lotion on my face. I'm using this Clinique uh, Dramatically different moisturizing cream. It's almost done, but it's really moisturizing and I feel like my face is really dry right now But anyways, what I was saying is it was hard because my life before having a baby was so different like I traveled a lot I used to do what I wanted when I wanted, like me and Tom have been together for so long but we both pretty much had our own lives as well, like if we wanted to travel we did, if we wanted to go somewhere we did, like I have always been very independent, you know we have a group of friends together and then I had my girlfriends, he had his guy friends so you know I used to go, go on girls trips and stuff like that so my life was definitely different. Um, before I became a mom which it's amazing to be a mom but it's definitely something to get used to and it's not so to me it wasn't so much the being a mom but the fact that my life changed so much so quick like I had Penelope then we moved here a place that I had never been to I don't know anybody like nobody and she was just two months when all of this happened I'm not working anymore, which I've always been used to like working and stuff. So it's definitely hard, but it's not so much the motherhood part because I feel like motherhood has been amazing as far as like having Penelope, like I wouldn't trade it for the world, but adjusting to being a stay at home mom and then just being home every day, not working, not talking to other people, that has been hard on me but it does get some use to just to be home and not work and stuff like that. So that's it for that. Now, I also wanted to show you something. I wanted to talk about these two necklaces that I get so many questions about. This P necklace, they're both from Stella and Dot. I don't know if you guys know of this company, but um, they sell jewelry, really cute, pretty jewelry. And this one is from their Covet collection and it is a P. This was given to me by Tone when I had Penelope. He bought it for me. And then this choker that I've been wearing nonstop and I keep getting so many questions about is also from Stella and Dot. And this one I actually just bought. I have a link below that you could get it. So I just wanted to show you really quick my slides because I know I clean. I have these two that I have on. I know I clean with these on and I think I get a couple comments about them on every video so I figure I'll talk to them up about them to you guys so these two sparkly ones which are my favorites they are from ink international concepts and these are from Macy's I got them on sale and I think they were around $27 or maybe $25 which I didn't think was bad they also have it in gold and they have like a a brighter silver and they also have like a watermelon one and a rainbow one so those I got at Macy's these I found at home goods one day but I'm sure I've seen them in a million places and these were like 12 bucks these are just like the little fluffy ones but there's a lot of websites that have them so I'll try to find some and link them for you and then these are the Puma um, Fenty um, slides from Rihanna and these just have bows they also come in pink and i love pink i was almost going to get the pink but i figured i had this pink one so there was no point and these were on the pricier side but i really really wanted them so it was kind of like a splurge but that's it i will link all of them for you guys and hopefully you guys could get them
What? I'm not even leaving yet. Are you gonna cry? Why are you crying for? Why are you crying? Why are you crying for? So this is my hair without any product. I'm just letting it air dry. It's crazy. But whatever, I don't care. Anyway, so I'm gonna have some coffee right now because I need it. I have a long night ahead of me. It is six, Penelope took like another half hour nap and now she is literally attached to my hip. Like you guys just saw we were playing, but the moment I get up, she'll cry. So this takes me to another question I got, which is if it's hard to be a mom and do YouTube, and the answer is yes. Um, yes and no. I mean, I've only been doing YouTube for three months and I can't say that it's been impossible because I do get to, sorry, my phone is going off. I do get to post a lot, but I feel it's because Penelope's still small, so she naps and, you know, she can't get around, so I, I'm able to get away with doing a little bit more. I'm sure as she gets older, it'll get harder. But then at the same time, it is hard because pretty much when you're a mom, your life and everything you do revolves around you. Sorry, I had to edit that because Tom cursed because his team is losing or something, I don't know. But what I was saying is it is hard because when you're a mom, everything you do and the way you do things depends on your baby and their mood and their nap time and their schedules. So right now I need to do a voiceover and I wanted to do it before like so late at night because I wanna go to bed early because I'm not feeling good, but she won't let me. She won't stay with Tone. She just wants to be with me. So here we are. Not being able to do that because she wants to play with my computer. And if I leave her, she cries. And then I can't do a voiceover because then you'll be able to hear her cry in the back. So just sitting here, I'm going to have some coffee and some cookies. I love these. I used to eat these like every night when I was pregnant. They're like my favorite cookies. I never ever buy them because, again, if I buy stuff here in my house, I'll eat them. And I'm not trying to do that, but um, my parents were here and they bought me a box. My mom knew how much I loved them and she bought me a box. So I've been eating them here and there. They're so good. Penelope, I can't even edit this because she wants to play with the computer. Can you stop? Thank you. Oh, you're so good at this. Good job. Okay, you don't have to put all of them in your mouth, you know? What happened? Oh no. Is it scaring you? But you love. You love her. We try to read to her every night after her bath uh, before we give her a bottle. So either me or Tom will just read her a book. I mean, sometimes we don't because if she's not in a good mood, we just don't do it. But we try to do it every night. Can we talk about my hair? Like, this is, this is like 80s dream hair. Like, it is so frizzy. My hair is so frizzy and so big when I just let it air dry. I, I'll definitely have to do something for this later on. But real quick, I just wanted to come and say bye. I'm sorry today was so boring. I wasn't feeling good. I seriously feel like did, I did nothing. I mean, besides doing a load of wash, I pretty much did nothing. Nothing got accomplished. Um, nothing got done. I did finish my video that will be up tomorrow, but I feel like I didn't cook, I didn't really clean, and I didn't eat much. I might have some cereal now because I'm getting a little hungry. But yeah, I'm sorry it was so boring. Hopefully next Sunday it's a little better, but I'm glad I did get to answer a couple of my Q&A questions because I feel horrible that I haven't sat down to do the video. So I'm glad I answered some and you guys got to know me a little better. 
and I'm also glad that I share my slides and these little chokers that I get questions about all the time I will link them in the description box for you guys and then I also wanted to share one more thing before I forget which is something that I also get tons of questions about and they are these leggings and they are the leggings that I wear pretty much in all my cleaning um, videos I get a lot of questions about them I love these leggings they're like my these to be my work leggings <laughs> now they're just like my stay at home leggings I mean I go out with them too but I usually just wear them to clean and be around the house and also work out they're like workout leggings so I find them at Marshalls or TJ Maxx all the time they're usually like $16 sometimes I'll find them on clearance for like 10 or 12 bucks so I'm not sure where to get them besides there because that's where I've always gotten them I have like five of them but they are by reflex and they are the 90 degree leggings I love them because they're super high-waisted uh, the material is nice and thick and it's not see-through and well it's not very see-through I feel like all leggings are a bit see-through but these ones are just a thicker material not like the type that you get like a Forever 21 or something like that and I also love that they are the perfect length I am pretty short I'm 5'1 and these fit me like mid calf which is like what I love because they're not just under the knee and they're also not down to the floor so I love these so I wanted to share with you guys this is the little logo just in case you go to Marshalls and find them that is on the outside and then this is the logo in the inside oh my nail sorry I know it looks gross so there you go so yeah I wanted to share those with you guys if I find them online I will link them in the description box so check that out but I'm not sure if I will and other than that that's about it thank you for watching sorry again it was so boring but other videos will come this week I am doing a fashion haul where I'll show you the rest of the Stella and Dot jewelry I got and also a bunch of like sweaters and winter clothes I got so I'm excited for that that I want to say it will be up this week so hopefully I could get it all done okay that was just a lot I'm going to bed I'm gonna go fold the clothes that I just took out of the dryer that were in the dryer all day and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay down and relax because I still don't feel good I feel like my headache is gonna come back at some point and I just need to rest just so I could tackle this week because my parents are gone and Penelope was so used to just being picked up and with someone around her all the time that now she is just being a bit of a nightmare every time I walk away from her <laughs> so yeah wish me luck this week I hope you guys have a great week I'll see you next Sunday and thanks for watching bye